Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with something different for you all. We yeah. found a show by mistake. It started playing on my auto um, play on YouTube, caught my eye, and I was like, thank you. Mm -hmm. Because perfect show. I wouldn't have never paid this show any mind. Exactly. The title isn't catchy. The picture that they use for the um, introduction <laughs> of the show isn't catchy, but I'm so glad that it autoplayed. It's called Love and Marriage Huntsville. Little backstory about how this became. It's three couples, right? Three black couples out there in Alabama. And their goal is they're going to revitalize certain areas in Alabama. And they came together because all three couples, everybody has a different skill set yeah. in the realm of real estate, land development, all that good stuff. All the stuff that makes a good team, right? Yeah. So they're supposed to come together with this group that they formed called the Comeback, Comeback Group. group. <sighs> I would <really laughs> think that the, that the title of this, um, that this here show should be Love, Marriage, Friendship, and Betrayal. Yeah. Because that's basically what had happened. So let's get into couple number one. Couple number one are the Holtz. His name is Martel. Her name is Melody. They own a company called Holt and Holt. Mm -hmm. So Real they're kind of like the it couple. They come across as having the perfect marriage. You know, they're making a whole lot of money. Yeah. Beautiful family. Lots. He's a hands-on guy with his kids. You know, they just seem like they work very well together. But anytime something is that guy doing perfect looking. Yeah. You, you, looking, you waiting for that skeleton to fall out the closet at any time. Couple number two. Marcel and Letitia, Letitia Scott. Yeah. Now, Marcel is a chauvinist. There's no other way to put this. He believes that a woman should be barefoot pregnant with his meals cooked when he gets home, and he does nothing else. He he does nothing in the domestic realm. Yeah, he makes her be, be the housewife, and that's all he want her to do. Yeah. And but take care of the kids. That relationship works for special people. Yeah, it, it's, it's not for everybody. It's not for everybody, but we're learning that Letitia was cool with it in the beginning. beginning. Yeah. But now she wants to actually be a part of this comeback group mm -hmm. like everybody else. But her husband is toying with her. Like he'll let her do little things, but then when she wants to take it serious, he's like, nah, like getting her real estate license. Yeah. He let her get her real estate license and then turn around and tell her she can't practice real estate. Say, oh, I just let you do that for fun. And then always says, you know, you're you're neglecting the family. You know, you're not putting your kids first if you do that. <laughs> Couple number three is Maurice Scott and Kimmy Grant. Notice they have different last names, right? Because he's been dating Miss Kimmy for seven years. Mm -hmm. And then he <clears throat> finally proposed to her. I yeah. actually like them. He proposed to her. So now they're in, they're actually planning their wedding. So we're going to see what how all of this pans out let's go ahead and talk about the meat and potatoes because we actually just kind of give you just a just an intro cause yeah yeah because tonight Cause is episode. only a speak a sneak sneak peek what had happened was mr who which one was it marcel the chauvinist he had found 47 acres and a mule yeah and they were going to take this land and they were going to develop on this land as a group yeah. Now, with anything, when you get a whole lot of people involved in a project, there's going to be some conflict anyway. So a two minute project always ends up being a 45 hour project when you're dealing with everybody because everybody wants to be heard. Everybody wants their idea to be implemented. It's just the way that it is. Or the old saying, a whole lot of chiefs and no Indians. Uh -huh. So being that Martel and Melody actually holds like the housing company, Holt and Holt where this um, project was actually going to fall under because the 47 in acres and a mule wasn't coming together the way that they quite or fast enough as they wanted to come together. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Martel decided that the land that Marcel found for them, he was going to go and purchase it underneath of their nose without even telling them. And not only purchase it, but develop it. And that's when they found out about yep. it. Yep. But here, after the fact. But let me tell you, I got an issue with Kimmy. Kimmy from couple number three, Kimmy that's planning her wedding. Kimmy, she was the closing real estate agent. Mm-hmm. 
on that deal. Now, when all of it hit the fan and he actually brought it up, he said, well, Kimmy, you knew about it. Why you ain't tell the rest of the people about it? You ain't get him no. Yeah. And she was like, I told you that I wasn't going to close on it until you let him know about you closing on that you was going to purchase it. And you told me that you would get with him later. Uh-uh. That ain't how it went, Kim. Uh, I would have made sure. I would have picked I up my cell it. phone and called and be like, hey, did uh, Martel tell y'all that he's closing on this 47 acres in the Mew before I close on this? Because we loyal friends. We good. We ain't about to fall out over no land. And that's exactly what happened. And exactly what happened. And the group broke up. But Kimmy fat in her pockets. Let me let's just go ahead and call the spade a spade. Yeah, First of all, seven acres. Can you imagine what the commission was on that? How long? And this is how you really handle stuff when you in partnership and friendship. Anything that eh, that's a conflict of interest. Go yeah. ahead and back out. I'd rather keep my real true friends around than to actually gain a whole lot of money. <laughs> but how ironic is this? Maceu found the land, but everybody else's household benefited off of this land, mm -hmm. but Marceo and his wife, Letitia. Yep. Ain't that a mess? Oh, and I forgot to tell you that Marceo and Maurice are brothers. Yeah. And they're cut from a totally different cloth. Mm -hmm. Even he says, my brother is a pig. My, <laughs> I don't even know where he gets this from, but he is such a pig. I wonder if their father was like that. Yeah. That's... Because men don't typically just get that from off the blue. It's usually they see that somewhere in their family and they try to implement it in their in their marriage. So later on, they had to sit down. They actually found a smaller, I think it was like a half an acre of land, quarter of yeah, an acre of land. something like that, yeah. And Melody presented to her husband, listen, basically we bucked up with the 47 acres in a Yeah, middle. and we need to make this right. We need to <laughs> repent. <laughs> and let's right. see if we can get the comeback group to come together and we can come together and build two modest-sized houses and build that and friendship, that brotherhood, that sisterhood right back up. Do this project. Let's see how it goes from there. Okay, yeah. Everybody decided that reluctantly, let's go ahead and try because at the end of the day, the end goal was, we're going to build up some skin around here. Yeah, for the community. Cause, and I like what they said, because they was like, we be sitting back and waiting for our government mm -hmm. um, and them to come come around and fix up our neighborhoods and fix up our communities. He was like, no, we're going to take the initiative and, and we're going to do it ourselves. And I was like, that's powerful, because that's what we do. But I just hope this two acres, uh, this half an acre that they working on will work out. Because at this point, I still don't trust um, Martel and Melody. I don't either. I, I don't I really either. don't after that. But I have respect for Marcel and Maurice them for putting their, being humble enough to try it again. Because the 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 end goal is for their community. So they, they looking beyond their issues and what happened in the past to reach forward to do something for the people in their neighborhoods. Later on in the episode, of course, you know, you got to have a come together meeting. You got to come mm. to Jesus. So, um, Kimmy decided that she was going to cook over at the house and have everybody come over. And they sat at the table. And they basically were having a conversation about marriage and what it takes to sustain a marriage. What are the breaking points in your marriage? What are the deal breakers? It, <laughs> and this is when... We come to realize that there's some skit going on in the whole household. Yeah. There's been some cheating in the next room. Yeah. Making plans to be with my boo. Because earlier in the episode, Melody was trying to call her husband. And she was calling him back to back to back. And I said, mm, yeah, that came from somewhere. Now, I, I've been married 16 years. I don't call my husband back to back. If he don't answer God doing it, it's because he busy. Yeah. So when a woman does something like that. She's suspicious of something. She's suspicious of something mm -hmm. that you planted in her head. And it and it just like blowed out of, out of proportion. That was before the, yeah. the conversation of the tale. I was like, why is she taking this to this, this level? Cell, this cell phone calling such a, you know, I was like, okay, it must be something going on. Got a side piece. <laughs> and all the other couples. See, here's the thing. They portray themselves as su such a, what's the word? Perfect. Perfect marriage as a perfect couple. They're not even being transparent with the rest of the people in the group to let them know, listen, you know, you got to tell everybody all your details, your tea, but at least be like, listen, <laughs> we are work in progress. You know, some skit don't happen, but all of them don't heard. Yeah. All of them don't heard that he been out there creeping around. 
Yep. And they're all trying to put the pieces together and they're trying to get her to admit, listen, we here for you. We got you. But she's like, oh no. We good. good. We good. Everything's fine. Everything's yep. good. We good. Okay. And then come to find out Maurice, the one that's getting ready to get married to Kimmy, he he was married before. He was heavier and he was a deacon at the church. Yeah. So now <laughs> his brother was like, I don't even know who this new dude is. He lost weight, <laughs> stopped being a deacon, been dating this girl for seven years, <laughs> and now he's getting married. So, okay. And then they asked Letitia, you know, basically, do you agree with the role that you're in in your marriage? She said, basically, if I knew all of these rules and roles that my husband had mm -hmm. in his head set for me in this Beforehand, marriage, yep. I probably wouldn't have married did. him. And you should have saw her Maurice face. Maurice was like, Maurice said, <laughs> I said, he's going to be funny. <laughs> but this is what she said. She said, but I also could have lost out on one of the best things that could have happened to me. Mm -hmm. So she's not saying that she's unhappy in her marriage because she loves being a, you know, they call it a kept woman. She loves the luxury of being able to be at home, take care of her family, mm -hmm. making sure her household is <laughs> is ran very well. You can tell that she runs her household like, yeah, yeah she I, don't I play with I it. I think what's going on, she's probably, she's getting older. And yeah. she wants a sense of purpose because at exactly. the end of the day, if something was to happen to her husband, she'd be lost. Yeah. That's the bad part about being in that situation. So, yeah, I hope I hope that he uh, let her do something. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, she's not unhappy. And she even said, she said. Yeah, she good on if, that front. If he ever gets to a point where he disrespected me, I'm like, he kind of does disrespect you. He he doesn't disrespect her in a means that he calls her names. or the, But he makes her feel small. In different situations, you could tell that she doesn't have a voice. Even when they were talking outside, they was like, everybody in for this? Anybody in for this? And everybody's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, you didn't ask me. He was like, uh, they asked me. So that means that they asked you too. And I was like, nah, bro, that ain't how this works. So that's basically where we are with the sneak peek of it. For a little bit that I got, I said, there's about to be some skit of yeah. ruin. Mm -hmm. Certainly with the hopes. There, that, yeah, there's some stuff going on because in next yeah. episode we saw him laying in the hospital bed. Yep. And she still wanted to talk about the cheating while he could right going in the night. And he was like, <laughs> ho, 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 don't you see me hooked up? Yeah. Let Time me come through this first and then we talk about this later. If I. So I'm like, did he cheat again before he went to the hospital? Yes. This is actually airing on YouTube as well. Yeah. So the sneak peek that we just spoke about. We'll go ahead and link that down in the pinned comments so y'all can get caught up on what we're talking about. It will come out tonight at 10 o'clock. So everything will kind of come out simultaneously. Yeah. So straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Ha. <laughs>